you know, I'll have high power up here. He will always look out for us some kind of way. I just knew that y'all was a, pos a positive influence. Uh -huh. Believe me, y'all presence makes a lot of difference also with these people, right? Because they won't act a fool like they usually would, you know, because y'all are here. Everything you need because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. I called on the Lord. I said, Man, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they don't follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Captain Ty War of the Israelite School of UPK. We, we out here in Baltimore, you know what I mean? We was having an amazing food and clothing drive out here, feeding the people, clothing the people, and it's staying, getting love from the brothers and sisters out here. They killed, give me Isaiah 14 and 21. They did the same thing to my people. So then you said that they put millions of my should a murderer go to jail for murdering? Absolutely. Should a thief go to jail when he's thief? Absolutely. Should a robber put pay back the money he a robbed? Absolutely. So why shouldn't the white man pay for what he did? That's right. That's right. what everyone knows the white man's the devil is known america was never our home only a place of captivity safe facility hating disfigure me they claim that i'm lazy be killing me maybe this slavery draining my energy 400 years and counting the trail of my tears is countless may fact that them here is astounding but i can't wait till this shit is surrounded ready to tangle my king and the angel be ready to rap cracking the sky nuclear missiles are making it official i'm capturing every crack i'm surviving put them all in chains where they need to be slavery for me and let the whole world see hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Baltimore, Maryland, and abroad. Y'all pinning north, you understand? Feeding the Lord's chosen people. This all you see right here. This is under commanding Johnny Yohanna. Commanding Johnny Yohanna feeds the people, clothes the people, as we do in many cities, you understand? We're going to keep rocking it up. Shalom. From Baltimore? Yes, sir. And how, how long have you been out here in Baltimore? If you don't mind me asking, because I see, I see you got some food. Uh, you been out, you born and raised in Baltimore? Yeah. That's not bad right 64 there. 64 years. 64 years. That's amazing right there. And of course, I'm sure you done seen all the transitions yeah, of Baltimore, the buildings torn yeah. down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Them up, them turn down, all yeah. that. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask, like, uh -huh. you being from Baltimore, okay. you seeing how destroyed we are as a people. You know what I mean? It's oh, very my. good to see you. Rather we can give you some food, get you I some clothes on and above. What oh, would my, you mama. say? You know, Baltimore needs, as you've been over here, born and raised, 60 some years, what would you say? Killing. They need to stop all that killing. All the killing. Make yeah. them young kids pay for their mistakes. They mm -hmm. ain't, some of them ain't any mistakes. They mean to do what they did, mm -hmm. but they need to pay, get rid of that. Would you, say that would you say Baltimore needs some guidance? A whole lot of guidance. A whole lot of guidance. Some righteous yeah. guidance. We because the kids in my era, we was raised old school. Mm -hmm. yeah. the kids <laughs> growing up now, they raising themselves. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to know I truly appreciate this mm -hmm. because we don't see it often where brother helping brother. Yeah. You know. Most definitely. Now. Are you are you from Baltimore? Yes. Born and raised. How long you been here? All, all my life. All but but life. now I was in the Marine Corps for nine years, so, you know, I moved, moved all around. Mm -hmm. Combat veteran with the war, 82, 83. How many years you did if your mommy asked me? Nine years in Marine Corps. Nine but, years. But if I knew what I knew now, I would have been like Ali. They Damn, didn't call me. They didn't call me nigga over there. But I Damn. come home. And they call me nigga here. Mm. 
yeah. you said if and you said if you knew what you knew now, that you would have you would have never even went in that drug. No sure. Because you saw the same treatment in a place that's supposed to be, you know, the glamorous the way out of the hood. Right. And then you went in there, gave, gave your you gave your work in there, and then they disrespected you over there too. My brother, I went to the Marine Corps. Last branch to integrate. Uh-huh. You talking about old rednecks? I had more fights against the rednecks in the corps that's supposed to be my, you know, fellow brother. You know, even in combat, I had to watch them just as much as I had to watch that enemy. That is insane. That's insane. And then let me ask you this: Not only did you give nine years, you went through all of that hell while being in the same uniform as this, which shows you the real uniform has to be the skin that you was born in, because y'all wearing the same uniform. However, you had to deal with more fights with them rednecks in, inside of the Marines than the fights that y'all was supposedly going to go fight. Let me ask you this. Yeah. You was in the Marines, you said. Yeah. Where's the Marines has, Where's the Marines out on the streets, you understand, doing these food drives, doing these clothing drives? You served them. Where are uh, they at right here? Nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. That's, that's a damn you know, I'll have high power up here. He will always look out for us some kind of way. Uh-huh. But these... I don't want to seem sound prejudiced or anything, but these uh, white folks, man, they uh, see. I live. I lived through a lot of uh, you know racism, you know, because I came up in the sixties and seventies, you know, and it was terrible, you know. I remember when I couldn't even go to uh, heck cut me downtown with my mother, you know what I'm saying? No blacks was allowed, you know. Yeah, sure. Am I right? That's, yeah. a heavy story. that's yeah. a heavy that's a heavy you understand that's a heavy memory right there man absolutely man like i said i remember the um <clears throat> my little king got assassinated you know the riots and everything i witnessed i didn't witness you know assassination but i witnessed the riots it was terrible man you know and all we did was burn up our own neighborhood loot our own stores or whatever right and all of that behavior, man, we, we got that from our oppressor, man. That's how they got America. When they talk about the Boston Tea Party and all these things, that came from looting. And you know what? They dressed up as us. They dressed up as niggas. They dressed up as Native American Indians. Mm-hmm. It's always been in our in our oppressor's culture to to, stake off, to take off your back, you understand, make you work day in and day out, and then leave you stranded. And then to leave you absolutely stranded in this place, man, with no food to eat, no clothes on your back, the whole nine, man. So I, that's why we came out here, because Baltimore, you understand, we need this. We need to see brotherhood, because the churches ain't doing it, the police ain't doing it, the church ain't. None of these places that, that claim to be about that life is even doing it, that has any works to show for. And the Bible is about works. Commander Jenny Hanna, we the Israelite School University of Practical Knowledge, and we about we about actually putting in work, you understand? So these brothers and sisters, y'all know that somebody actually care about y'all. Not just anybody, but once again, the most high power of God that's in that Bible. That's why I just I just came right here and seen y'all, right? Uh-huh. The first thing I seen, two, I talked to two of y'all before I seen y'all, right? Uh-huh. And I just knew that y'all was... A positive, a positive influence uh-huh. in this neighborhood right now, and like I said, I appreciate it. You know, believe me, y'all presence makes a lot of difference also with these people, right? Because they won't act a fool like they usually would, you know, because y'all are here. Even though they, I never seen you before, but I automatically got respect for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like everybody don't do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? And, and I really appreciate. It. I, know, I know I'm not the only one. Yeah. But a lot of us appreciate it. I would say most of us do. You know what I'm saying? Man, sure. Listen, we appreciate your kind words, man. Absolutely, Everything you said, man, man most definitely going is going to touch the hearts of many. You understand? Because that's what we out here to do. This ain't this ain't for show. This to let our brothers and sisters right. know we don't need our oppressor. That's one thing that the black man and black woman. Uh, uh, fail to believe because of the Christian church. We don't need our person. All we need if is you a little bit of this. You know what this is called? Down, it's called brothers. Song start stepping. Brotherhood is a weapon. Brotherhood is a weapon. Better watch how you stepping because brotherhood is a weapon. If I die for my niggas, it'll be an honor and I'm blessed. Better watch how you stepping because brotherhood is a weapon. Brotherhood is a weapon. Better watch how you stepping because brotherhood is a weapon. If I die for my niggas, From the struggle, born again from a life of sin, trapped in the gutter. My mind frame was to kill my own kind. Feeling inferior, waking up ready to die. Run with them killers, so it's just a matter of time. For why take your life or let you take mine? That's when I realized the slaves killing slaves. Why the white man live to get old? We in them graves, the shit got me feeling plain. I opened the Bible, went through them records, found out we was royalty of nations. 
Wishing to be respected, but in this world we reject it. We hate it for our complex. Still fighting to get accepted. We hear the truth and reject it, but love is getting corrected. And all my niggas correct me. The commandments, the foundation we erected.